So, my question is, how exactly did the guard standing outside the door not notice or hear any of that fighting? Right? Like, that was definitely loud enough. I was casting summons and everything. He should have heard something. Times the Cobalt. Actually, what have we used an item? We still haven't used any of these yet. Crystal Power! The Ox Berserk Rush. Imagine the staff, like the off staff, having an attack name for Zerk Rush. Mid the Coucher. It's so strange to be inside the gates of Alfie's enemy. No more Boros entrance we seek, however, is not within the palace, but through a cave right inside. You can always come back into the city later. First, we should look for the cave entrance. I already know where the cave entrance is. There's no need to look for anything. I'm sure that my abilities will be of help. Oh! By his abilities, we should use insight. Including dumplings. Have a couple? Oh no, I don't have that. He wants a uh I gotta go to the tea shop. Oh it's open. This is what he wants. Alright, so now we can get that Mars duty. We're gonna go inside the cave, that's what we'll save and call it. Couch of dumpling? Those bundles of tastiness always give me a burst of energy. Yes, if you as long as you get out of my way. You must be justly rewarded for your a morsel of charity. Here, take my fish watching spot. Goodbye, dumpling buddies. I don't even see any fish. What was he watching exactly? Oh. Oh. More fire! Lava has Jordan Matthew. The spirit represents fire's power to melt and is first met in Coucha. Or Coucha. Lava's attack is high enough to melt enemy defenses, leaving foes vulnerable. So my stats don't really change much. My defensive agility go up. That's fine for now. Eventually I'll own all of this stuff. Alright, let's make our way to the side of the um palace. Similar to those of Temple of Morai. The overall sentence we see is surely right here. Perhaps if I use my power of insight. Didn't need him to do that, but I appreciate the sentiment. Right? Alright, let's enter Ouroboros. Oh, 
this away. Ba 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 ba. We accomplished quite a bit today, right? Eight hours of gameplay in. It's not too bad. I'd say we did quite a bit today. But that, unfortunately, is going to be it for you tonight, everybody. It is almost midnight. I will probably irritate my wife by going upstairs this late. <laughs> well, we figured out how to do that. All right, so when we last left off, we had just finished our trek through uh, Ayuthe, um, and we obtained the power. Uh, to operate the forge, the, the uh, forge, the alchemy well, um, and we were able to get the insight glass. Now we're gonna go. Now we're here in Orboros, trying to locate the uh, the soul mask, um, which is an item we need to power the alchemy forge. Um, we found out that the Alchemy Forge had already been powered up by uh, Amity's father um, back when he was a kid. Uh, but he did let them all know that uh, he couldn't unlock the true power of the Forge. So uh, he left that for us to do. So here, um, that's what we're trying to do now is uh, not for it, the well. Uh, so we unlocked the two power of the well, and now we're trying to unlock the two power of the forge. We technically already got up and running. We're just trying to uh, finish the job by making, putting, entering the mass to give it its true power. Um, I believe I cast Whirlwind on this, right? Get up the. Ah! Am I gonna make it? I made it. Um, both of these move, I just don't know which one's the right one, and which one leads me to a chest. Well, this one's clearly not the right one. Well, that was quick and simple. That is not the right one. Go this way. But yeah, once again, huge shout outs to HelloFresh for sponsoring the stream. Greatly appreciate you uh, giving me the opportunity to talk about some of the great products you have. Um, we'll go into more detail about you know said products um, later on in the stream. Is this wind and water? Hey, what's up, buddy? Welcome on in. Um, let's see, who can I give this to? I guess we give it to Tyrell, right? What does the Elven Shirt do anyway? Speed booster? Yeah. It just makes him a bit faster. I like the Adept clothes being on Reef. Uh, give me a second. You'll hear the sound cut off for a second. I was looking over some documents real quick. Just making sure I'm not missing anything. How's my Friday going? It's going good. I, I took my car to get uh, serviced. Um, 
They told me that it actually wasn't time for it to get serviced in terms of mileage, um, but it was time in terms of time, right? So it was time, it was that time of year for it to get serviced, but because I don't drive it that often, uh, they told me that I didn't actually need to bring it in because the mileage and stuff wasn't, you know, the, uh, the, ga the oil and stuff was still fine, but I took it in, they did the tire rotation, changed the oil anyway, just in case. And, of course, and you know how it usually goes. Whenever you take your car in to be serviced, they always try to find something wrong with the car, right? So while I'm sitting there waiting for them to get the car back to me, they give me a suggested list of things that need to be taken care of in the car, which turn, uh, which cost a little over a thousand to do. I was like, of course, because the last time I tried to get my car serviced, you guys ended up taking a thousand dollars from me. So I was like, no, thank you. I just want some oil change and a tire rotation for now. Uh, we'll worry about the other stuff when we have uh, the time and money. But I was like, I can't believe them. It's even more weird because we just got the car back from the shop. So if there's all those issues with it, then I would need to call the repair shop that did the car repairs after the incident and ask them why the heck my dealership found all these issues with the car, right? At that point, I would have, like, huge questions, right? Try to make sure everybody has at least one, right? Or at least two. So, yeah, my, uh, my aunt told me to watch out for that. Um, they, she also said, like, if it isn't, if it isn't somebody that I know and trust looking at my car there, more than likely they're going to try to upcharge the heck out of you or upsell you. But yeah, um, so that went well. We were able to go and return all of our stuff to the Costco. Without too much issue. Um, and pick up everything that we needed from the Costco. Um, and now we're streaming. It's the Vulcan Act. The Vulcan Act. Well, you already know we're going to give it to him, right? Equip. equipped it yet because I want to check his weapon. Oh yeah, we equipped it then. But yeah, how's your Friday going? I trust all is well on your side. Oh look, it's a Jenny. Oh, I see what I did wrong there. I'm gonna have to come back for that. I'm trying to motivate yourself to probably create a UI for the thing I want to make. But you hate front end so much. Is that a software?
Oh god, I love the fact that I don't need to be right next to it to cast this move. Right? Ah, oh, that's so great. Even despite the fact that it was so far away from me, it allowed me to move it anyway. It's the part of the site that you see and interact with? Yes. Uh, you prefer backend, which is business logic? Yep. And that's something that's generally seen by the general public? Kind of like a website. Yeah, that's what my, so my wife, this is what she does for a living. She designs front end, essentially. That's, that's her job. That's what she gets paid to do. You want to see if an acquaintance of hers would make you wife for you? If you haven't seen him in a long time, you're ready to pay him to do it. I mean, I don't know how, my, how much my wife would charge, but I could ask and see if there'd be something she'd be interested in. She was telling me this morning that she was looking for more freelance work, so... Let me know. I'll, get, I'll talk to her and see what she says. I can't guarantee anything, of course. But, uh... Yeah, I don't mind talking to her. the project needs yet beyond a vague idea understandable it's a bit unique um, I'm looking at synergy I'm looking at uh, gin setups real quick uh, white mage is earth and water I was trying to remember what exactly I wanted to put on uh, Matthew. I did want to make him a ninja, that's for certain. Um, so I need... To make myself a ninja, I need three and three. Okay, so I just need Mars Jenny now for him. Um, but eventually I will need two more, two more Jupiter Jennies at some point. But for now, we don't need to worry about that. Um, to be unique, with about four each, I would just make Mars Isaac and Venus Tyrell, for example. Just a solid element for now. Oh, instead of trying to go into, instead of trying to go to multi element, I thought about making him straight. I thought about making Matthew straight. Uh, you know what? Maybe I will. probably just keep him straight with Jupiter for now, right? Because he's got all the Jupiter he needs for now. And then I can just trickle in Mars onto uh, Isaac when the time comes, right? Dang, it fell. Because I still don't know what I want Tyrell to be. Or even if we're going to keep Tyrell on the party, or swap him out for, like, uh, any, other, any of the new characters, like Himi or uh, Eol Eolio. Mm -hmm. 
like his Yimmy? Yeah, I think as much. And so, and Sveta's not bad either. Um, in case you're not here, uh, before you turn around, leaving a passage after uh, fixing the mask is a point of no return. Okay, so save just before. We'll save when we get back to passage. Um, then we'll do all the stuff, and then we'll probably try to save just before. Um, we fix the mask. That's what we do. We'll get the passage. We'll do all the talking stuff, and just before we put the mask on the, the tile, we'll save. Put the mask on, then save. We don't want to save before we put the mask on, in case we need to run back out. Save Aster. Okay. So, at what point does it become a point of no return? Is it when we cross the uh, cloud passage? Okay. Alright, so yeah. Then we'll take that time to kind of figure out what Jenny we're missing or what Jenny we, uh, we have. soul mask we've done it Matthew we got the soul mask <laughs> with this mask we can finally use the alchemy force once we create that cloud passage we'll be one step closer to getting over the cured mountains let's make our way back to pa um, passage um there's only one Jenny inside of Orbos right I'm just pulling up my own little, uh... Guide, right? I have the Ginny setup guide. But I, that's all I have. Because I already have so many other pages open. Yeah, it's only the one Jupiter. Alright, so in that case, I can go ahead and do retreat. jerk right let's be a jerk and seal the the tower back up that way unless they teleport they not getting over there how do I get up there that's what I want to get up I want to get up there Since it didn't look like you could move over there. Wait, did I accidentally do this without doing what I'm doing right now? Oh, yeah, I think I did this by accident before. Yep. I just walked up to the middle stair and it let me grip it anyway. Without having to do all this extraness that I just did. I just like... <laughs> Chad, apparently I'm breaking the game. Okay, so, before I re-enter Passage, with the exception of the one Jenny I believe that exists within Passage, is there any ones that I'm missing, like, overworld-wise? 
ever seen a demo before? Well, I'm sorry for the 3DS. Finally, the fans' wishes have been answered. Nah, oh, the fans' wishes to have all these ported over to the uh, Switch. That's when the fans will truly have their, their prayers answered. Because I think right now I'm sitting on 4-4, four, 4-all four, 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 but Mercury, which is 6. I did not get Ether. I don't have Ether. Is that an overworld, G uh, Ginny? Golden Suns, Golden Switch exclusively, exclusively on Nintendo Sun. What's up, Max? How are you feeling today? He says, near Calcho on the overworld? But I got home too late, so I ended up just coming straight from stream. Luckily, I'm a bit more awake now than I was while I was out and about. I'm in the right area. Oh, so he's in the spores. I feel like I can just attack one of them and it'll automatically stop. Garage seems kind of weird. You're on a quest to build the worst possible competitive team with Pokemon Violet and win some battles with it? <laughs> that sounds absolutely annoying. <laughs> like, I'm on a quest to make everybody feel bad about themselves for losing to my bad competitive team. Your only attacking move is explosion. Explode! Oh wait. Normal terror type explosion. wish exploding electro versus lava bit that sounds absolutely annoying you know what maybe can I make Karis a samurai that'd be awesome probably not right Yeah, no, she can't. She's she's Ivan. She can't be a samurai. Darn, that's unfortunate. I was gonna make her a samurai. All right, so what she needs now is Venus Jenny. That's what she's looking for now, Venus Jenny. Whereas Reef is only looking for Mercury Jenny. Neat. Okay. We're on the right track. Fortunately, Driftwood learns Explosion and with 100% wall wop of it. Alright, so I'm assuming that's the last Overworld, Jenny. Pro 
prior to crossing the passage. Not that it matters because you can't counter a fainted mod anyways. I mean, true. A team of three real Pokemon and three exploding electrodes. You'll see everybody using protect constantly because they're too afraid that they'll get exploded. Alright, so you said go ahead and place the mask, then save. person ever. It's a salt team that only attacks by going boom. Now this looks like a fortress city. Now it's raining outside. Oh yeah, I gotta go back to all those other towns. Because we required the forge in order for me to do the thing. Maxite gifted a tier 1 sub to HelloFresh. They have given 23 gift subs in the channel. Oh, that's hilarious. Maxite, thank you for the gift sub to HelloFresh TV. <laughs> I didn't know that would be. I didn't know that was possible. <laughs> oh, Fresh TV. I hope you enjoy the the cute brushing emotes. Next, I you're the best. How dare your sponsor not be sub to me? <laughs> what has happened? It must be the alchemy forge. You, you retreated from our bars. You actually got into the labyrinth? Of course. I'm of course you did, Boggy. Matthew and his friends are true miracle workers. Oh gracious! You did, you're of the um Ayute Court. Amity, you're here? I am in a Voltorb mass outbreak trying to get a shiny Voltorb. Oh gods, the booms. Oh yeah, because they just explode themselves, right? I need to find an uh, Eevee mass outbreak. I'm, I'm honored, I mean, um, Amity, but why have your warriors troubled him with the climb of um, to passage? Amity helped us get the mass so we could um, start the alchemy forge. Then it seems that we are in King Pytho's deck. No, we are in your deck. Your people help them find their way to out on my deck. Just imagine, a royal child of Ayate and the children of the warriors of Bell. The children of the, children of the warriors of Bell? 
Yes, the adept of legend. You didn't know? I had no idea. How strange. <laughs> well, together you have brought about quite a change here, Passage. Didn't you feel the shaking our little town has been? Um, I, didn't you feel the shaking? Our little town has been reforged into a fortress. But it couldn't be just our alchemy forge that has done all this. Our machine alone could not produce such a wonder. It is both the machines working hand in hand that is bringing about such miracles. These great adepts have done nothing less than revive our ancient civilization. The descendants of the Janae have re reunited with the um, Exalti peoples. Passage in um, Ayuthe in harmony. I will never forget this moment, the day in which the lands of my birth were forever changed. But I won't be staying in AJ to enjoy the first days of this new golden age. I would like to accompany my new friends further with, on their journey. If they're happy, that is. Are you truly turning away from the royal duties to walk the path of a warrior? I am not turning my back on my home, for I will surely return as a wiser son of Ayutha. Hmm, Auntie and the Warriors of Bell. Please, Boggy, our parents were the Warriors of Bell, not us. But we are, uh, we are glad to have Abaki. Yeah, how I yearned to adventure when I was young. When I was your age, all my dear friends left passage and scattered over to the winds. Before I knew it, only I was left to bear, bear the burden of the head elder, helping passage through its dark days. If only I could have got our alchemy forge working. Sorry, a mind has wandered from the bottom of my heart. I thank you for all of uh, for my people, for helping my people. But I can't leave it at mere gratitude. We must find a suitable reward for those who restore passage fortunes. I open our book to you. Our new future is worth more than any treasure. We must have turned down his offer, friends. His pride as elder would be hurt. If you'll pardon me, um, if you'll pardon the old man, I leave it to your future. But one last thing. After you check the sky platform, we'll speak with the other elders at our main meeting hall. They may know more lore that could help you. Give me a second, chat. I gotta loosen my shoe. I don't know why, but my feet feel like suffocating, right? It's weird. Oh, yeah. Ugh, fix that. There we go. Woo! Feels better. Alright. They made... I maybe tied them too tight. We must repay our... Um, we must repay our debt to you in full, of course. Well, there goes Grant. So the sky platform, huh? We'll be on our way to Craggy Peak soon. Alright, so if I were to go and get the, the peak platform ready, would it push me forward? There's a hidden something passage. Don't hit up yet? Okay, so let me save here then. Save in both spots. Okay. Is there something right here where if you freeze this, it reverses the flow of the uh, tower? Or something like that? Wait. Wait, wait, don't leave me behind.
Yeah, I, I don't have frost, so I can't do it yet. Unfortunately. The Alchemy Forge building lit up bright as fireworks, and then passage uh, transformed. I always dreamed of leaving passage and moving to Alifay, but now I love our little town. Oh, I can get, uh, I can buy stuff now, right? Oh, yeah, good, because I had already fixed it. Woo! They're working again! Now my hammer will get some real work. Thanks for starting our forges back up. Let me take my forge off for a spin and see what I can make for you. It should be fine to go up and check it out then. Without you, we'd be sitting around dead forges, making a whole lot of nothing. But now we can forge and sell so many things. Here, take this. It's the least we can do. Zoll ring. Safe travels. That's like an agility ring, right? One fourteen to two oh five. We live in a world where Matthew is about as fast as Isaac, or not Isaac, uh, Ivan, not Ivan, <laughs> Tyrell. I was gonna get there eventually. Good for Reef. Yeah, I kind of like him being slow, right? I have one healer that's fast and one healer that's slow. If I gave it to Reef, I think he becomes too fast, so he goes first. And, uh, I think at that point, everybody else, since we already know everybody else is already fast, I think we end up in a situation where we aren't getting damage off like I would like. Just got that off. When, my ha when we hammer Zol in here, mist gushes out and it's sucked up by a fan in our forges. So if all that mist is in Zol, I bet that's why it floats. Oh, so talking him to talking to him from the side is the same as talking to him from behind. Big yawn. It's called the Blow Maze. Cause that also that doesn't sound awkward at all. Oh, she's got a potion and a water of life. Oh, we have multiple water of lives? And just like that, I'm poor again. Quickly, I should be able to run around here and do something, right? Oh, it's just a shortcut around? 
Well, that was lame. Everybody's like, yay, we're gonna get rich. So this is the real passage. We've lived here all this time and never knew the truth. Sucks, right? Don't tell you nothing. What's back here? Oh, it's a treasury. Can I take it off? They made it sound like there's a lot back here. Two things right here. One fifteen, one thirteen, one oh seven, eighty four. Seventy one. Bro, bro's got no defense. So we're heading up now. Get out of the way. What do you mean by meeting is as you? Alright, so if I go up right now, will it make me cross over? I thought I wouldn't get here in time to wave goodbye, but what happened? Yes, if you jump off the cliff, you will cross over to the game over screen. I don't think we want to do that, though. You tell us, that wasn't much of a cloud passage, Boggy. What about the legends? Um, what about the legends about getting to Craggy Peak? You got the forge working. I could jump higher than that. Oh, sorry, I don't know. The yawns are just coming at me now. I can jump up higher than that cloud carried us. You owe us, Boggy. Yo, Tyrell's up. Pain in the butt. I, I don't know what's wrong. Leave him alone, Tyrell. I'm sure that Boggy tells you everything he knows. We're close, I just know it. The forge is at least trying to make a cloud for us. I agree with me. So we must um so we must still be missing something that we need to get across. Yes, it seems like that cloud was too Missy. Lucky. Yes, yes, the clouds from our fury forge must be too hot and misty. They need to be cooled down and made more substantial somehow. Indeed, young ones. And our legends may may get some of you. Hey, it's Gramps. Who's Silas Gramps? Boggy, don't ever call me that. Oh, to please share your wisdom. What's this about further legends? I vaguely recall something about ice. My memories are a little too foggy. Would perhaps the other elders do more? Their combined knowledge may provide the answer. We have some old tales about a blue gemstone. A gemstone? That sounds like what we needed to put the uh, alchemy law in reverse. We couldn't have put the well in reverse without the power from the sand prince stone. It's 
temperance stone, it's actually, um, it's actually related to our own Ice Queen stone. Not Ice Princess. Princess Queen's gemstone? A uh, Princess Queen's gemstones? What a royal mystery. And ah, some of it is coming back to me now. This gemstone once vanished from um, passage. Not like it was stolen. Didn't a monk take it from passage many years ago? Are you okay, Amity? The Sanford spoke to me once more. He said that he knows of a woman who escaped from her gemstone. She is in a maze somewhere. He says hoping that uh, she would never be fine. What does all that mean, Amity? She's a woman who is using her power to revive an area that once lay in ruins. But she is a, uh, she's a greedy creature. Giving up only a tiny fraction of her power to help people. Is that a, and that's all he says. We need to find the Sanford to deal with them after the well. Then I bet we need to find the Warbird to sort out the Alchemy Forge. To reverse, uh, to throw the forge in reverse, um, you mean. Maybe you're right. An area that once lay in ruins. Well, I know such a place, of course. Harappa, no doubt. That's it. Now we know. Now we know exactly what to do uh, to create a solid cloud package. Er, uh, how did you? Who spoke to? We found a man in Alate who's actually a gemstone, and only Amity can hear to um, hear him talk. Really, um, uh, really, Becky, you got to try to keep up better. Put up quite a fight before he came along with us, however. So I bet this queen won't come quietly either. I'll admit that I find this all perplexing too. Gemstones? Queens? I can't believe they're um, that they're one and the same. Still, we must defeat this one to get the ice cream zone. Alright, let's go, Matthew. Let's find this queen. I expect that the ancient world was far stranger than we can imagine. Be careful, warriors. Our ice queen stone was said to be beautiful. This if this woman is just as alluring, I hope you don't fall victim to her charms. Foggy! Don't you have errands down in passage? Please don't be a bother to our dear friends. Well, I... Take care, everyone. 